Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. I'm very excited today to catch up with my old friend, Dev. How you doing, Dev? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Good to see that smile. Good to see you, too. Um, we're going to talk about uranium today. We're going to talk about FUU, which isn't an insult. It's actually Fission 3.0. <laughs> yes, it's actually a symbol. Uh, yep. <laughs> so if I remember, if I remember correctly, uh, there was a corporate amalgamation a few years ago, and you scooped all the development assets <laughs> and put them into 3.0, right? Exactly, because it was Fission Energy that sold the assets to Lucas Lundin and Denison. Um, and then we had the uranium assets in Fission, and then we had a merger with Alpha, and out of that came this plan of arrangement which gave everybody free shares. So basically, yeah, Fission Energy would have shares in Fission, Denison, Fission Uranium, and Fission 3.0. That's kind of the idea, yeah. Now, the last time you and I talked, Uranium was kind of bumping along, and you and I were calling for it to have a serious move. What's happened since? Peter Grosskopf, lack of a better word. Um, you know, when UBC was first set up um, with, and, and Denison was handling it, Peter Farmer was there. They had their own strategy. Some would call it sleepy, whatever, um, or Pony Pony Express is what David Casey called the other day. When Peter Groskopf got a hold of it, um, you know, 1.3 billion, 300, one point, and it's gonna it's gonna keep growing. I've had the pleasure of having lunch, two uh, lunches with Peter, and got into it. He, yeah, there's no doubt it helped that uh, President Biden has said he's going to continue to um, what. Uh, President Trump started, which was to say green energy is important and we can't get anywhere with it's silly for us to talk about electric cars and all these. We don't have electricity right. and it has base load power. So where do we get energy that's got no carbon foot? Uranium. That's so. So in that, when he set that fund up, it drove the price from 30 all the way in the 50s. Now it's come back a little bit. Now it's picking back up again. So the difference between now has been Peter Groskopf taking control of the UPC and actually making it what it's supposed to be. So what's happening within your company right now? Well, it's great. We're able to, uh, uh, we were fortunate to raise eight. So we got about $10 million. You know, what's important about Fission is that number one, discoveries matter. I know people are jumping into all these, you know, assets that they think we were something at 70, 80. The most important thing, and what makes the most money for investors are discoveries. If you look at the chart of next gen Fission, they just go like this and they go all the way down. They develop the mind. So if you really want to make money, you got to have part of your portfolio. And I would say you want to be with teams that have done it before. Um, you know, Raymond, Ross, and our team, they've done it before. Um, they've done it twice before. They did the unconformity with the Waterbury project that was sold to right. Lucas. And now they've got this one. The same technology that discovered the boulders um, in, on the west side of the basin, which is flying an airplane really close to the ground, literally three to six meters. Okay. That close, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I think Kai's nuts myself, but, you know, <laughs> hey, boy. and basically they were getting down so close they could actually pick up and slow enough they could pick up um, all these boulders along the way. It would be literally like taking, you know, a million uh, geology students and put them in the, in the province of Saskatchewan and start picking up rocks or a Geiger counter, you know, all the way right. around. So that's what that was, a flight gong counter around the whole edge. So all our projects uh, we've been looking for, looking for boulders, outcrops, and on the edge. And we, we had an idea we wanted back in 2013, 14, but it literally took many, many years. People dropped properties and then we started scooping them up. So we have every one of our 18 projects, it's 100% owned, no royalties, nothing. We own them 100%. And what we're seeing right now has been, I would say, I was in Vancouver yesterday, but you know, six groups that are serious at the table that want to do something. Nice. Uh, in the space. So we have always been in the project generator model. And that's now now we finally, I think we talked before is well, what we needed was high uranium price, momentum money come in and we have it. Right. And so I if you look at the stocks, they've done well. But I think if people really want to see something be a duck, 10, 20 bagger, you've got to be an ex, you got to be exploring. And you're exploring. We are. And when the, money, the, the money that gonna, you raised, was that flow through or hard dollars or both? Both. We did about uh, 5 million flow through, 3 million hard. We already had some hard, so we're almost five and five. Um, so we don't sign any joint venture agreements. That's okay. We've got enough money to drill three of our projects. Um, we're already going to be 
signing contracts, start to flood the ice in December. So you get it thick enough to do some work. Um, and that's our goal uh, for the first quarter is to do a lot of drilling. And PDAC went to battle for us mining companies and got an extension from CRA for the flow through. So thank you, PDAC. Yes. And that's what they needed to do because you, you can't get people to work together if nobody wants to go out there. Just look what happened to, you know, to Camago. They had to completely yeah. shut. So it was the right decision. Thanks, PDAC. Yeah. So what's the next big event for us to watch for? I would say watch for joint venture agreements with other people. Um, Rick Rule has always said, your property, your mind, other people's money. So we have been dressing, getting ready for drilling, vectoring in through airborne, whether it's ground geophysics, whatever it took, we're trying to vector down so we start drilling. So you, I, I, we hope to have some joint venture agreements. Worst case, we'll drill it ourselves come January, February ourselves. Good. We'll follow up with you again. FUU. Yeah. Thank you. 3.0, Dev. It's always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter Clausey signing off from Investor Intel. Have a great day.